everybody! Hello! How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine for you guys because I get a lot of questions about it and I was like, you know, why don't I just make a whole YouTube video for you guys to show you kind of like what I do now as compared to last year because you really liked my video last year and I thought, you know, why not? And maybe I can just chat with you guys and we can talk about our feelings while I do my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do today. I hope if that interests you, if any of that interests you, then I hope you stick around for the video. I'm gonna start by just putting my hair behind my ears because I didn't realize how much it might get in the way, you know? Twist up and put it in a little clippy. I love putting my hair in these little clips. I think it's so much fun. Kind of goes everywhere, but you know, whatever. This is how I start my makeup routine. Sometimes I pluck my eyebrows. I pick up my skin first. I don't know why I do that, but we're gonna skip that part and just go right into my moisturizer. This is the Fenty Skin. It's the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. I thought it was 15. It's been 30 this whole time. I was just I was putting this on because I don't like putting on sunscreen and moisturizer because I'm just lazy and I was like this is a two for one but it's a 30 instead of 15 that is so amazing that makes me so happy and it's my favorite color which is a big reason of why I bought it but I genuinely love this a little moisturizer and sunscreen I really like Fenty Skin products I just put a little bit of it on my hand and then I kind of wipe it on my face like this you know and I rub it all in and I just kind of massage it in. Always do your skincare down your neck. That's something that I learned from, um, well, the internet. So I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to actually do that because the internet can be wrong sometimes. But from what I heard, the skin on your neck is the same as the skin on your face. So like protecting the skin on your face, you need to protect the skin on your neck the same way. A lot of people have told me that like, as far as sun damage goes, you get the same kind of sun damage on your neck as you do your face. So when you're older, if you've only been putting sunscreen on your face, then it'll look nice, but your neck will look a lot more aged from sun damage I kind of take my moisturizer down my neck for that reason you know ta -da, ta -da. next we're gonna go straight into eyebrows I like to take a little flat brush and my favorite concealer which is on the floor let me get it don't ask why it fell on the floor okay I don't know how it got there Joa Beauty dark circle concealer I got this I think they sell it at like Walgreens and CVS pretty sure it's around seven dollars it's supposed to be super like skin centric but anyway I like to take a little flat brush and just dip it in this little pom-pom thing and I just like to outline right under my eyebrow because it helps when I draw on my brow to be able to see what's the best place to underline right under it. A ta And then I just blend down and then tap, 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 tap. Then I go to the other side, blend, 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 tap, 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 ta -da. And that in, in and of itself doesn't seem like it does too much, but I think it really helps me um, underline my eyebrow. For my eyebrow pencil, there are two brow pencils I really like. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I think I lost the caps. Stop the cap. The, you, there's usually little caps on here. In the shade um, three and a half, which I'm pretty sure is like a medium brown because that's my hair color. This is really good, but I also love the Sephora um, retractable brow pencil and this is a lot cheaper than this and they do like the same thing so if you're looking for a brow pencil and you want to um, you don't really care about brand names this is great my brow pencil kept being sold out when I went there and so this uh, Sephora employee recommended this brow pencil and I love it and I love it and I love it I and I love it I love it so much I start right under the middle of the front of my eyebrow you can see I have like a lot of little sparse areas I like to just start by filling in right under and I go a little bit forward I will admit I like to fill my brows in a little bit more forward than they tend to come just because otherwise I think they look a little weird on my face and then I kind of draw the arch up and over and then I'll go for the arch I'm missing a lot of hair right here in my arch always start with a light hand it's a lot easier to add product than it is to take away I just always like to start with a light hand like that and kind of see the outline of the brow fill in the middle and then I'll just add a little bit more of the tail just like that and you can see the difference in my eyebrows already it does like so much for my face then I like to take this NYX brow glue Literally the best brow gel ever. I've tried so many brow gels and this one just, it holds my brows up all day. I love it so much. You can get it at Target. And I just like to get a, a big group of this stuff on there. And I kind of just brush right through my eyebrows. And then I kind of just brush them over to the side. And ta-da, that eyebrow is pretty much done. Moving on to the next eyebrow. Okay, now my eyebrows are done and I like to take the same exact concealer and I just go, right under my eye right under my other eye down the bridge of my nose i kind of go in the middle of my forehead like a little t 
around my nose because I was recently sick and now it's all dried out and red. Kind of go on the sides of my face. I kind of start using it almost like foundation and then right over my chin. I don't think I actually need that much concealer, but it's just fun to do, so I keep putting it on, you know? I take a big, thick brush and just blend it right up, just like that. Right under my chin, right under my nose. Blend, blend, blend. Ta-da! Now next, I used to love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I still do, but apparently they don't sell it anymore. So I changed the product that way. If anybody asks, you know, they could get it too, and it's not like, you know, hard to find. This is the Fenty Cream Contour little palette, and this is the shade Amber 01, which I'm pretty sure is for just really pale people. But um, I take this little fluff, fluffy brush, which is part of the Morphe 2 collection, go right across my, my cheekbones, just like this. You never wanna blend down. You always wanna blend up because otherwise it can drag your face down, or so I've been told. Do the same thing right over here. And I go right across my forehead and right across the middle to that. Then I like to take, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I like to take this Morphe 2 Moonbeam Liquid Highlighter. Just take a little bit. I go right on the peak of my jawbone. This is not my jawbone, my cheekbone. And then I go right across the bridge, around the tip of my nose. I don't think I really need it on my chin, but I like to put it there. Right on my cupid's bow. Then I like to take this Pro Filter Fenty Beauty Butter Powder. The Morphe powder is cheaper, works just as well. And I take this makeup sponge, which is also by Morphe. I clearly need to wash it, but we're gonna ignore that. And I just go right up like this and then right across my nose. Pat in that powder in, because it kind of sets all the makeup around right under my eye. I do the same thing right over here, just going up and then patting it in. Ta -da! And then, once again, I had this other blush I like to use, but then I found out they stopped selling it and then I broke it. So now I'm using this NARS blush in the shade Deep Throat. What did you just say? I didn't name it, don't ask me about that. I like to take a like fluffy brush, blush, brush, and I like peachy pinky blushes. It's just what I like on my face, swirl that up. I kind of like to put it higher on my cheekbone just cause it makes your face like a little more angular as opposed to like in the middle of your cheek. It makes your face a little more plump and I don't want to make my face any more plump. So I'm putting it over here, just like that. Then I take this Hoola bronzer by Benefit. It's my favorite bronzer ever, ever. Like everybody likes to use it and it's just, I love it. So I take it like this in this little angular brush that I've had since I was like 14. Dip it in there, pat, pat, pat. I don't know if I need to do this, but I see everybody else do it, so I just start doing it too. And then I put basically in the same spot, I put the contour. It's just like a warmer shade. Hmm, I like this. Then I also like to take a little like makeup brush like this. It's kind of like tapered and fluffy. And I put this in the bronzer, tap, 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 tap. And go right across my crease. This is literally basically what I've been doing for eye makeup recently. Literally just that, and then I call it a day. Now next, I have this one highlighter I really like, but it's getting kind of dark for me recently because I'm just that pale and it was the uh juvia's place loose highlighter and it's great during the summer because that shade matches me but right now i feel like it's it's not working out the best so we gotta go even lighter this is the how many carrots diamond bomb highlighter by Fenty. i love this highlighter and i just take like an eyeshadow brush for this tip of the nose down the bridge of the nose very similar basically the same place as we put the other highlighter but i feel like it's just so pretty and i have to use both of them next i'm gonna take this morphe 2 jelly eye shimmer in the shade bright idea this is what it looks like it's so pretty it's so pretty i love this with this random like flat brush i like to just dip it in here and i go right oh did there something in my eye nobody told me there was something in my eye And then I just go right up. Now, when I do this on my inner corner, I kind of think about drawing a line in half across like the little inner part of my eye and just going up, only going up. Such a pretty glowy kind of look. And it's pretty easy to do, you know? It's kind of natural looking. Well, maybe we're not naturally shiny in the inner corner of our eye, but I think it looks pretty. Ta -da. Next, I have these eyelashes, which I used yesterday, but I like to reuse eyelashes, so I'm gonna use them again today. Eyler London in eyelashes but this these are the ones i like to use please don't sell them out because last time i told you guys about it you sold them out and i couldn't find them for like three months no! these are the eyelashes that make all the difference on my face bendy 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 is this bleeding 
No, it's not. So you want to wait till the glue is kind of tacky. Dry, glue dry. I like to start by placing the eyelash directly in the middle. And then I connect it on the outer corner first. And I go towards the inner corner and just put it on right there. I put eyelashes on so much now that it takes like two seconds. It's crazy. It used to take me like forever. The first time I did eyelashes, it took like two hours. So if you're not used to doing them and you know, you try it after watching this video, don't be hard on yourself. It can take a while for some people. Some people get it immediately, but if it takes you a while, then it's totally fine. It took me a long time the first time I did it. Now next, I like to take the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. And I just kind of bond my natural eyelashes to the fake ones. Just so that when someone's looking at you, they can't tell like- See your natural eyelashes sticking out right under them, you know? Next, I take this Kat Von D tattoo liner but you can use any liner that works best for you. I just like to draw the inner corner because I think it's kind of a good look. Oh, what's on my nose? How long was that there? Ta-da. And then I'll take a little bit of the same mascara and go on my bottom eyelashes. Ta-da! And then I feel like it opens my eyes a lot more. Last thing I do is take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Manic. And I go right along my bottom lip line, my top lip line, and I just rub it together. So it looks like that. And then I take some of this Diamond Milk Fenty uh, lip gloss and I just go on the bottom. And then last, last thing I take is this Rare Beauty Setting Spray. I mix it up and then. Honestly, I feel like I usually use too much setting spray, but I like the feeling of it on my skin, so. And then we're just gonna, the clip just stuck. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we got it out. Ta-da! There is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope that it was educational for you. All the products I use will be linked down below. So if you're curious about any of them or you think that it will work well for your face, then go ahead and check those out. I hope you have a great day. And if there's any other videos you want me to make, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> All right, you have a great day. Bye.